It hey, is fellow beer lovers, welcome once again to Of Online Beer Reviews. My name's Daniel. My name's Daniel, because I'm standing on his side. Hey! No, my name's Ed. Oh, whew, had me confused for a minute there. Today we're going to drink this uh, snake bite from Barrel House Brewing Company. What is, does, do they have a, a name for it? Is it, a, is it an IPA or what is it? It doesn't say on the side, uh, it just says um, it's their blonde ale. Oh, blonde, okay. With uh, Their citrus blonde ale co fermented with apple crisp juice. apple juice. Crisp apple juice. Not just regular apple juice. So, uh, Barrel House Brewing Company, Paso Robles, California. This is 6.9%. Um, really cool place. I went there. If you watched any of our other reviews, you may already know that. So, I'm being redundant. Um, for those who haven't watched any of the other ones, yeah, cool place. Go there. Um, my so cousin's husband works there. You tried this while you were there, correct? I did try it, but I won't say anything until we review it. Well, it's worth it's worth knowing that we are not generally fans of cider. Hmm. I don't hate hard it, cider. Yeah, I just don't. It, I would rather drink beer. A lot of it's too sweet for me, and uh, we're also not generally fans of beer with fruit added. I mean, there are obviously exceptions to all rules, but right? So, uh, so, made with apple juice. I was described to me by Billy that they're trying to, you know, if you don't like beer, maybe you'll like this. You like apple, you know, cider. Maybe this will lean yeah. towards beer. They, honest, in all seriousness, they probably sell a ton of this beer too. Yeah, I mean, being that, like, it's it's one of those that like. If your girlfriend or wife or whoever doesn't drink beer, they, they might try this because it's like, oh, it's got apple juice in it. Yeah. Like that, I think that's the appeal. It's a great idea. Sure. So, this is a clear gold? Yeah. Pale straw. Sounds good. Has a one finger oh. white, pure white head. I'm already in the smelling mode. Yeah, I know. I'm like two steps ahead. Uh, it kind of smells like apple juice. It does have that apple aroma, like... I also get a kind of, like, um... Smells like green apple to me. Like grapefruity, maybe? Slight citrus in there. I concur. So, that would be the hops. I assume. Yeah, and actually, it says they... Whoa. 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 They blend it with their blonde, and then they top it off with a Cascade Dry Hop, so... Aha! Alright. Oh, Schlanza. Woo! That's dry. It is dry. It's almost like a, like a you know, like a sparkling uh, champagne. Yeah, like champagne for sure. Oh. Wow, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be dry at all. Some apple ciders are, some aren't. I mean, mm. So yeah, there's obvious um, apple influence there. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what the ratio. I don't know. Hmm. Of beer to apple juice is. That's, it's dry, which, I mean, if I'm going to drink something sweet, I sort of prefer it to be dry. Like so, champagne. Yeah, I would, I gotta say it leans more towards a, a hard cider than a, than a beer. Definitely. You know? Definitely more on the cider end of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a lot of apple up front. I do get the hot bitterness, like right on top of my tongue. It's weird how the hot, some, some are on the side, mm -hmm. some are on the top, some are on the back, some front. And that's just like, that's like, you get that like after the initial sort of apple, yeah. like in the middle, yeah, oh, yeah, that's when I get it too. And that, that hot flavor is nice, it's mm -hmm. good, kind of citrusy, grapefruity, tastes good. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of apple in there though, like, yeah. yeah so if I drank this blind, not having any, like if someone just handed me this, I would think it's cider. I agree. I wouldn't be like, is that a beer with apple? I would be like, no, that's cider. Yeah. It's, it's got the same like kind of dry mouthfeel that a lot of ciders have. Mm -hmm. The tanginess, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Maybe tart, whatever. Hmm. So, if you like ciders, yeah, if you, you like ciders, really like this. You probably love this. If you are a huge fan of beer, but you like cider, I think this is. Because it doesn't taste exactly like a cider, but there's so much happening in cider mm -hmm. right now that it's similar to beer. Like people are just adding whatever they want to cider, yeah. making cider out of everything. Um, yeah. 
if uh, if your significant other doesn't like beer, yeah, I think that's go to Barrel House Brewing, take her or him or whoever there, and uh, it's a cool place. It's a great place. A lot of fun. Yeah, they have a lot of IPAs on tap, <laughs> as do most of the West Coast breweries. Yeah. This is uh, it's weird. The, the the problem with having to like rate this is that. I don't know what style it's supposed to be. I mean, the base beer is a blonde. So, on a scale of blonde beers, it looks right and it tastes okay, but it's also, it tastes more like cider than a beer. Yeah. So, like, if I was rating it on a cider scale, it'd probably be pretty high, because as far as ciders go, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. But rating it on a beer scale, I'm like, well, I don't know, it doesn't really taste like... Yeah. I would... So this rating is going to be weird. Right, it's kind of a hybrid, right? Well, I guess yeah, it, is it definitely hybrid. is a hybrid. And, and again, they're not giving a, other than this brief mention of co-fermented our citrus blonde ale with fresh crisp apple. There's no, there's nothing on here to say it's this style, it's supposed to be this style. So, mm. so as a beer, we get a lower rating. Yeah, as a me. cider, we get a high rating. Um, as a beverage, I guess it's... Yes, yeah, it would be somewhere <laughs> in the middle. I mean, yeah. um, but the mouthfeel, like, dry. Which I actually like, uh, you know, I do like dry wine and stuff like that. So. Yeah, me too, so that's a good, I mean, it works for it. Yeah, it has a lot of nice features. I gotta admit, right now, I didn't like it when I drank it there. I'm liking it more right now. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Usually it's the other way around. This is the sort of thing where I'm like, I would probably not ever, like, if I went there, I wouldn't order this beer because I know, like, that it's not something I like. But drinking it, it's fine. Like, I'm not unhappy with it. Yeah, you know, I agree. That's a weird... I'm kind of the same way. If I'm looking at the menu, if there's cider or something, you know, a lot of breweries are selling cider also. Mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I'll skip that. Just yeah. skip the beers. Right. But, um... Yeah, and like, you know, it, it was different for you because it was just like, here's everything on the menu. Yeah. If I go to pay for a flight, I right. try to pick the beers that are either... Like, I always pick at least one IPA, you know, given the size of the flight. I'm going to pick the weirdest sounding beer on the menu. I'm always going to pick that mm -hmm. beer. I'll probably pick a stout or a porter if they have one. Like, I'm going to pick, pick the widest range of what they have to get a gauge of the brewery. But I would not ever, unless this was the weirdest sounding one on the menu, <laughs> then maybe I would. But I, I doubt yeah. I would order this. Yeah. So, and maybe that would be a shame. Yeah, well, okay. maybe not. Um, depending on your... So, yeah, it's a difficult one to, uh, yeah, to actually rate. Uh, it's, um, it is drinkable, though. I mean, I don't find it unpleasant. So, I'm going to say, as a beverage, I'm going to give it a four. Yeah, I was um, right there. I don't, I don't want to say beer. I don't want to say... Uh, yeah, as a drink that I used to be buying right now. now. <laughs> but it's good. It's definitely good. So, uh, And they got a lot of... Uh, good things going on there. It's right around the corner from Firestone Walker, if I'm allowed to say that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. I was there. Mm -hmm. I was also at Firestone Walker. Too bad Zeb missed it. Yeah. But Same. it's hard for us to, to you know, uh, yeah. our vacations don't coincide. So. Yeah, this is a weird one. So Zeb's planning a trip to uh, North Carolina. Carolina. at the beer capital of the East Coast or something. Yeah, There's yeah, like a brewery. Within there. like. I don't know, like 20 miles, there's like 20-some breweries. It sounds awesome. awesome. And two of them are... I'm jealous. The, like Sierra Nevada and New Belgium both have breweries there. Cool. So I'm yeah. expecting a t-shirt or something. Maybe. No, you're and getting, a bunch of beer. You're getting nothing. <laughs> beer is um, Yeah, so we're driving, <laughs> we're driving down, too, so it's just like load the backup and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, that, yeah, this is... It's certainly not bad. I wouldn't... Like, if... If someone had this in their fridge, I wouldn't grab it. But if someone was like, hey, I ordered this, try it, I would definitely do that. It's weird. It's hard to describe. Like, I sound like I'm being down on it. Yeah. I just, as a drink, it's fine. It's not a great beer, and it's going to yeah. drink the rest and of it. And to me, it's an exceptional cider, but it's not a great beer. So, again, as a beverage, it's yeah. kind of in the middle there. Indeed. Hmm. That's a weird one. That's hard to do. Yeah, that was a... Tough call. The challenge. Thanks to yeah, cousin. Thanks, Billy. Billy. Cousin in law, whatever you want to call it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below or send us an email. Please subscribe if you like what we're doing. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers, indeed.